Third party docks are beginning to appear for the Steam Deck and we have got one right here from a manufacturer called Ivala or Ivala. Now granted, looking at the packaging for this thing and the address and contact details on the back of the box, it's not pristine, it's not marketed well and it's certainly not packaged well either. A plain white box with Ivala on the front and bare bones details about what the product actually does, but does it really matter much? No, not really. Now, Valve though, I fear you're just too late to capitalize on the dock market, unless your dock is going to do something spectacularly different to those hitting the market right now. I'm not sure it's worth the time and effort to really market one, quite frankly, now that these docks are starting to appear. The Ivola Steam Deck dock is a cheap alternative to what I'm expecting the official Steam Deck dock to be. It's small, lightweight, looks unbelievably mass produced, but it's functional. There's an Ivola logo across the front, which isn't too in your face. Face. There are a few small rubber feet on the base to avoid any slipping around your desk and the Steam Deck can fit right in the front slot with ease. Now I do actually have a case on my Steam Deck here and it still fits well and leans against the back, angling it towards you. Now the dock itself measures a 10 centimeters wide with a depth of around six centimeters at its deepest, which is great for real estate on your desk. And I had the dock set up underneath my monitor and it looked absolutely great and it was super accessible. Now around the back are several inputs which consist of a 65 watt USB Type-C charging port which is faster than the 45 watt Steam Deck port. There are also three USB inputs capable of transmitting five gigabyte per second of data. There's also a single HDMI output to plug the dock into an external monitor or television and I tried the dock with my MSI Optics MAG27 4QR RF QD monitor, which is capable of 1440p resolutions, so not quite 4K and a 165Hz refresh rate. Now the dock though, to let you know, is capable of producing a 4K image, which feels very much on par right now with modern day console gaming, so there is a bit of a cap on there it seems. There is also a cable protruding from the back to the dock, which is meant to plug straight into the USB Type-C on the Steam Deck, and everything is so lovely and neat here, so would not look out of place on a desk setup or TV unit, and offers a very simple simplistic way of docking your Steam Deck quickly. Now once I had plugged everything in, like power and HDMI cable to my screen and a gamepad, I tried two games, the first being CSGO, and that's relatively easy to run, and second was God of War. I launched both initially through the Steam OS and found exactly what I had expected. The refresh rate and resolutions were very much locked at 60 frames per second at 720p. CSGO gave me a solid 60 FPS, while God of War was fluttering around the 30 to 40 FPS mark depending on what was happening on screen. Again, this can be limited by the Steam OS, which we have found in the past. There is a playlist up there to previous videos. So the next test was running both games through the Linux operating system through the Steam client. Firstly though, diving into the display settings on desktop mode, I could see both the Steam Deck screen and my external monitor were detected, which to remind you is an MSI 1440p 165Hz display, and the dock was capable of displaying the full resolution, but the maximum refresh rate I was able to select from the setting changed depending on where I was changing the settings, which was extremely odd to see. If I had the Linux Linux display configuration settings open on the monitor, the maximum refresh rate I could select was 72 hertz. If I had the same configuration settings open on the Steam Deck screen, the maximum refresh rate I could select for the external screen was 120 hertz. Now every time this happened, the Steam Deck screen was set as my primary display, and the second monitor was an extension of my Steam Deck screen. Not that it really made a blind bit of difference anyway, as testing God of War running at 1440p on its original graphic settings is just not on unplayable, garnering a minuscule average of 15 FPS. Even when I dropped it down to 720p at 120Hz on the display configuration, it was still only hitting around 30 to 40 FPS. So whether you're playing through desktop mode or Steam OS, you're still going to be getting the same kind of performance, despite the ability to select a 120Hz refresh rate. However, when I hopped over to a game of Hollow Knight using the same settings, 720p, 120Hz refresh rate, my monitor is an extension of the Steam Deck screen, I was hitting over 200 FPS. Now I did try and jump back into the Steam OS launcher to play Hollow Knight, but I just kept getting caught in some kind of boot loop, so unfortunately I couldn't finish that test. 
So trying something vaguely similar when it comes to graphical performance, which to me required much less graphical power to run, I jumped into a game of Cuphead on Steam OS and found it locked to 60 FPS. Nothing really surprising there. However, jumping over to the desktop Steam launcher, I found Cuphead to be a smoother 120 Hz at 720p, which is what I had set in the Linux display configuration menu. All of this though, I don't think is really such a bad thing in my opinion as I wouldn't really recommend competitive gaming on a Steam Deck anyway to warrant the extra refresh rates. But I also don't think being able to hit above 60 FPS, in my case on single player focused titles like God of War, like your typical RPGs as well, is really necessary. But it was nice to see that those weaker graphical reaction based games like Cuphead and Hollow Knight were able to hit higher FPS rates, even though you are sacrificing some resolution. And I am including CSGO in this as well. It was very surprising to see that that was capable of hitting around the 120 to 130 FPS mode in desktop mode. But of course, you have got to remember as well that this is a Steam Deck and it's very much a console-like experience. If you want top spec graphics with high refresh rates, you're going to have to go the gaming PC route anyway. But saying this, it was absolutely completely playable when using it with my monitor. I didn't really feel like there were really any issues with the gameplay here and quite frankly if you were to say go on holiday and they've got a tv there or you go to a friend's house and take your steam deck and dock with you it would give you quite a decent party type game experience think overcooked or something similar that doesn't really require much graphical power to actually run single player rpgs though could be a big hit or miss depending on your feelings about sacrificing resolution quality if you want a sharper image, stick to playing on the Steam Deck screen. But if it doesn't bother you, this is a great way to bring your Steam Deck experience to the big screen. Now the whole Ivala or Ivala Steam Deck dock experience was an amazing one. So much so that I am so worried that Valve is just way too late to the party on their own official Steam Deck dock. If Valve is still pushing to get their docks out soon, then they've got to be able to do something super interesting and super different. And that, I'm not really sure what they could do really. Flash it up with some RGB or put more ports on the back, like a display port or something like that. Even then, it won't really make much difference anyway. If you're someone who literally needs a dock now, then don't wait for Valve's official dock get this instead it's super cost effective coming in at around 35 pounds online and that is it is just really a no-brainer thank you very much for checking out our video review of the Ivala or Ivala Steam Deck dock if you did enjoy this video please hit that like button subscribe to keep up with our latest tech and gaming videos and also let us know in the comments down below if you would go for something like this or if you're holding out for the official dock and also why you're holding out for the official dock let us know in the comments down below as I said thanks very much for watching and we'll see you in the next video